Hi everyone, welcome to another vlog, another days in my life vlog. Today is Monday, October 16th, and it's actually 5.55 right now. I just filmed like a montage of my morning and day so far, and now I'm about to pick up some groceries. I'm gonna do a little grocery haul, and I'm gonna cook dinner. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm cooking, and I'm just gonna have like a nice kind of self-care evening and night because I didn't work a shift today, obviously, in the hospital, and then I don't have practice tonight. We don't have practice on Mondays. So it's really rare that I have like an evening off. And so I really like to take advantage of those evenings and cook and just like have a really relaxing night. So that's what we're about to do. I'm very excited. I just went on the most amazing walk with Reagan downtown and it just felt so fall. It was amazing. It smells like fall. It's just like officially has really hit me and I am all about it today i just am going to the grocery store downtown because i don't feel like going all the way driving all the way to sprouts in the other grocery stores so it's just much faster to go here i like to go here sometimes like if i don't have that many things to get because i just have to pick up a few things it's not too big of a trip I just got home from the store. I'm gonna do a quick little haul. I didn't get that much, but I've decided I think I'm not gonna shop there ever again unless I literally have to get like one or two things because it's way too expensive. They don't have any store brand things at all and it's just like unnecessarily expensive. And anyway, it's just convenient location wise. I got these popcorners. Ah, oh, sunflower oil, seriously. Whatever, so these aren't great for you, but I wanted like a little snacky thing, so I grabbed those. Got some strawberries. Oh, I forgot to get blueberries. Oh well. Oh, I got some cilantro to throw on when I'm cooking tonight. Some Colby Jack cheese. Some almond flour, cause I'm gonna make some new protein balls. I was gonna try a new recipe, different than the one I made last time. Anyway, this specific one called for almond flour, which um, and I was out of eggs, so I got these. I don't feel crazy about this specific kind, but the ones that looked nicer were just outrageously expensive, and I was not about to do it. I miss sprouts. Then I was out of orange juice, got some orange juice again. I like the Sprouts brand. Some grapes, I've been obsessed with grapes lately. It's literally like candy to me. Shredded cheese, I love to put this on my eggs. Some organic maple syrup because I've been loving to put a little bit of this in my coffee. It tastes so yummy. A couple of limes also for when I'm cooking tonight. And then I was out of cinnamon. So I got some more of that. This is the only kind they had, so. <laughs> It is 
honestly pretty late right now, but I'm still gonna do my little nighttime self-care routine like I said I was going to earlier. I really wanna take a bath, so I'm gonna take a bath and read my new book. Also, I feel like I deserve it after that dinner. You know when you like try something new or you try a new recipe and it ends up being a lot harder in certain ways than you anticipate? Yeah, that was me tonight. I literally feel like I'm gonna have blisters on my hands from trying to chop those hard vegetables and trying to peel them. I completely made up this recipe on my own. I just wanted to build something around purple sweet potatoes and butternut squash because I recently watched the Blue Zone documentaries, which I'm actually not done with yet. I have like two, a couple more in the middle that I didn't watch. Anyway, both of those are Blue Zone foods and I was like, oh, I wanna make something. And they're like fallish vegetables, so it ended up being so delicious, which I'm thankful for because I randomly put everything together myself. But that was the first time I had made anything with butternut squash or purple sweet potatoes that weren't like pre-prepared or in like a frozen pack or something. And I learned my lesson. If it is available already prepared and cut up and frozen or something, that's how you wanna buy it. I don't really have a good peel or two because I feel like I usually don't use one. So at first I wasn't even sure if I had one. I found one like in the back of my drawer and it was like not a very good peeler and I was about to break my hand and my wrist trying to peel those vegetables. I wanted to talk to you guys about my current reads. So I really have not been a reader. My mom and sister have always been huge readers, huge bookworms, and I never really was. And then when I would read a book, it would be a nonfiction book. But then I started to learn about different like brain health doctors talking about how good it is for you to read fiction, how good it is for your brain this and that, and then when I went to the beach with my sister, I was like, this is the perfect time. I'm gonna become a fiction reader. And certain books being so trendy and popular, it makes me wanna get in on it and read the book. Since becoming a reader, <laughs> I, I read Verity by Colin Hoover. It was very good. And now I'm reading A Court of Thorn and Roses. I'm very excited. This is the first book of the series. My sister helped me pick. Those are my first two books, Verity. And then she said I should start this series and I definitely trust her recommendation and very excited to get into the fantasy world of this series. I actually got the graphic audio book of this on Audible and basically what it is, it's like a theatrical audiobook and there's different actors that read it and there's sound effects and music. And it's literally like a movie in your head and I'm actually so obsessed with listening to it that way. New reader update. Hey everyone, it is the next day. I had a pretty chill morning this morning and then I have practice later at the forum. And then like around four, I have to go do something for nursing job work. We have to complete a NICU skills fair. They have it open throughout the week, so you can go whenever works for you, but me and my friend are gonna go out there today around four and get it done. Our assistant manager said that it has been taking people about 30 minutes, which is a relief, because I was expecting it to be like hours. I don't know why, so I just propped it on my pillow. That's so, so much better. Oh, I need to practice our routine before rehearsal tonight because Sunday when we had practice, we started learning our new routine that we're gonna be doing opening night for the first game of the season, the first official game of the season. That's a new routine and I'm very excited about it. I definitely need to go over that choreography because I feel like it kind of already is like out of my brain and I'm just gonna be on my A game today. I don't know if she's gonna make us like audition it again. A lot of times we have to show her us doing the choreography so we like audition it before formations and stuff and I don't know if she's gonna have us do that again or well the deal is I just want to be prepared and make sure I know what I'm doing so I can be ready to move on with that dance yay here's my Nespresso pods I just reordered the basic ones from Amazon yeah the Nespresso brand ones and then I ordered this little light thing you like stick it on your bathroom mirror for some extra light it looks like that I think you just like stick it at the top and honestly, the lighting's fine for getting ready and stuff. I just wanted a better lighting for when I film. So we're gonna test this out and see if it works. Okay, update, it's like, 3.50 right now. My friend is on her way to pick me up and we're gonna go to the skills fair. I'm just very ready to get this over with. 
I did end up changing and just putting on this nursing sweatshirt because the jacket I had on earlier was a little bit too cropped to be wearing to the hospital, so. to practice. <laughs> Double the year back. Walking into practice. Thank <laughs> you. 